kind of still. So it blooms. I haven't had any fruit off of it yet. Mainly probably because of <laughs> I almost kill it every day, every year. Kind of forgetting to water it. That's which holds true for a lot of my trees. I get too many of them and it's hard to keep up with them. So this is another um, star fruit. <clears throat> this is a Kama chili, um, kind of popular in Mexico. Um, let's see if there's another name for it right here. Yeah, um, yeah, Guama chili. Makes kind of like a pod, a pod with a little fruit in it. Uh, pretty cool. Right here, I've got a Rose, I mean, no, no, this is a um, wax jambu. These are pretty cool. This, oh, here's some flowers right here, my wax jambu. Pretty excited about this. So, it makes a bell shaped flower, um, fruit that is uh, either pink, could be green, different colors uh, tasty kind of refreshing fruit oh, this is a Ross sapote yeah so this is another tree I've almost killed a few times it's it's you know hanging in there <clears throat> this is cool this is a Potomba um, got some flowers for him in here so I'm kind of hopeful maybe we'll get some fruit there's a miracle fruit tree right here Let's see it in there. I got a bunch of fruit last year. Somehow I just never got around to eating them. I probably should. Here's a, here's a santol. This is from Pine Island Nursery, nursery in uh, Florida. It's getting pretty pretty good size. Um, makes It's also called a lolly fruit I believe. Pretty big old um, makes a fruit that where the flesh is really tightly adhered to the seed makes it really tricky to eat here is something kind of cool <clears throat> this is called a pitanga tuba now these are like little dwarf little trees that produce a really cool fruit um, here's a flower here and I'll keep you updated on what this fruit looks like and how it tastes um, you know, I like the fruit a whole lot. They, they kind of vary in their flavor. Um, this is a little seedling I planted from one of the fruit from last year. But they don't take very long to grow fruit. Maybe a, a year or two, which kind of reminds me of something else I wanted to show you. I'll show you um, kind of a rare tree. It's a uh, white um, strawberry fruit um, strawberry tree fruit it's also called what's it called we'll just go over and take a look at it now I planted some seeds last year end of last year and I was just checking out the f little seedlings and to my amazement here's the tr little tree this is called a oh a Muntingia yeah Muntingia calibura this is the yellow version you usually see the uh, the red fruited one but these are really rare um, here which to my amazement is are a couple flowers so well even at this this age it's barely maybe uh, maybe I planted this um, eight months ago or something like that let's get ready to make some fruit more flowers right here. Pretty prolific little fruit. So this is a few of them. There's like one, two, three, four of them here. And here's another one of those uh, Pitanga tubas. Got a bunch of little seedlings here. These are these are um, swingle swingle um, seedlings. <coughs> um, Let's see what we got 
here. Where's my... This is called, I wanted to show you this. This is called a falsa. Um, this tree right here is called a falsa. Here's some flowers. They make little fruit, little dark round fruit that tastes to me kind of like a, uh, a raisin. So here's some flowers off of this falsa. Super easy to grow. Another tree um, that I've almost killed a few times, but it, it holds on. Like the, the trees that I have in my possession are survivors. Um, you can see up here, I'm almost ashamed to show it. How I, it's probably dried out right there, but it's still hanging in there. And there's some, here's a fruit, some old fruit here, maybe some seeds I can plant. Make some more trees. I'll kind of spin around. This is some figs that I'm trying to root. A coworker of mine has a, uh, her grandma had this cool tree make some giant figs I wanted to have a tree of my own not that I have space for it but now I've got the tree maybe I can fi figure out where to put it somewhere <clears throat> these are these are a uh, gamboge just kind of a cool tree a little few seedlings here that I'm growing just to see you know got these from um, these seeds online, I can't remember where I got them, but they're hanging in there, surviving. Now, let's see. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool right here. This is, um, these things. Um, this is, um, what is it called? Gosh darn it. So, the name of it is escaping me for a sec here, but it's related to the uh, tomato but it makes these little fruit here they're pretty good they come in these little husks I guess you'd call them pretty good fruit you need to go ahead and pick them and eat them let's look over here this is kind of cool now here are some Suriname cherries got a lot growing here this tree just wants to produce a whole lot of them now earlier I showed you the black version. This is the the red one. This is a more typical, more typical one, but it's got so many flowers here. You can see there's so many fruit and forming different stages of fruit here. There's when they first kind of really start getting size or green. So that's that. This tree right here. This is called a mabolo tree. There. Uh, you need a male and a female tree and this is this is my male. I've got the female over here They flowered last year. I pollinated it um, They held on to the fruit to her. They were about golf ball size and dropped them um, I may have um, uh, Let them dry out or something. That's why Here's a uh, gooseberry. I had this in the ground. It was just kind of growing in the wrong spot I pulled it up potted it. I'll figure out where to put it later Something else here that you don't see too often is a governor's plum. Here's a governor's plum and these are dioecious. So this is, I've got this tag. This is my male right next to it. I have a female. Now what you want to, what I want to show you with these, they have different flowers. So this is the male right here. There's the male flower. Here is a well, now the fruits are starting to form. This is a female. Now this is, uh, oh, okay, here's where it's um, a little bit more immature. That's a female. You can see where it's kind of like a fruit. And what it needs is this guy. And there's an ant on it. To uh, pollinate it. So luckily in this one pot, I've got two female trees and one male so getting some fruit this year off of this bad boy got a rose apple here I'll show you rose apple it's finished blooming now 
Here's the fruit forming. Of course, there's a bunch of ants hanging around. But, uh, this is similar to the wax jambu. A little less flavor, but still good. I like it. Um, and it's hung in there too for me. Here is next. This is. Um, I can get the tag around so you can see it. This is a moringa olive. Oleifera, also called Malungai, it's called a few different other things, but it's pretty, a lot of people like to eat the leaves, a lot of people, um, there's fruit on this, you can eat that, these are pretty easy to root, you just cut it, stick it in the, in the ground, or some soil and it'll root, um, a lot of people like to grow these in some of the I guess some of the desert or some of the harder places to grow trees and it's um, got a lot of health benefits. You may have read about these these trees, the Moringa olifera, olif olifera. Around the corner here <coughs> we have a, this is a Grumachama, big tree. It was full of blooms, I think because I have it in the greenhouse or this little shelter it didn't have enough um, sunlight to sustain all the little flowers so all these to hold them till fruit so this is one at least this is a black grumachama they have they have different varieties there's a yellow I've got the black I had thought I had the yellow but at least it was sold to me as a yellow and then it ended up being a black so I sold that or gave it away so that's that let's go ahead and take another walk we get out of here. Oh, these are some 